Well, hi there, everybody. Your Saturday evening shaping up to be okay out there. I do want to mention that there are a few sprinkles out west that aren't showing up too well on Futurecast here. Uh, as we go into the evening hours between about uh, 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock here, and I know Futurecast doesn't show it, but I am going to watch for maybe a couple of stray sprinkles here and there, uh, not out of the question here across parts of western and central Nebraska. Uh, so it's not a great chance. I, 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 there may be a f few extra clouds. Again, sprinkles. That's all we're talking. We're not talking about any legitimate rain. No thunderstorms like yesterday evening. Nothing like that. And the winds, they'll eventually start to die down later on this evening, and we'll see lighter winds tonight. And once those uh, sprinkles clear out of here, pretty much clear skies beyond that. So after midnight, for sure, clear skies. Now, lots of sun for tomorrow. And winds are going to pick back up out of the west and southwest. They are going to be breezy, but that's going to be helpful for warming us up. So if you thought today was nice, we're going to bump those temperatures up about 10 degrees for tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, a milder night, the wind's staying a little breezy. It stays mostly clear out there for Sunday night and a Monday morning. And uh, so a milder night ahead of us. And then watch the winds on your Monday. They're actually going to be fairly strong out of the south and southwest. They'll be pretty breezy, almost windy again. But look what's coming then Monday night. Late Monday afternoon into Monday night here, a cold front's going to come plowing through. Very quick moving front. That comes through during the afternoon into the evening hour. So it's almost to the Tri-Cities by 7 o'clock. Probably going to move through by 8, 9 o'clock in the evening hours. So breezy winds out of the south and southwest ahead of it will be replaced by even stronger winds out of the north and northwest. Those winds could gust over 45 miles per hour. So you may be uh, you know, getting ready for bed or just hanging out in the evening and all of a sudden uh, you'll, you may hear that wind kick in outside Monday evening so get ready for that that front could also bring maybe some sprinkles some very light rain if it gets cold enough later on Monday night to Tuesday morning maybe a few flurries or light snow I don't think we'll see a lot of moisture with it but can't completely route some a uh, little bit of moisture those winds will come back a little bit during the day Tuesday but we're gonna be left with some much chillier conditions to uh, go into your Tuesday so lows tonight dropping back into the upper 20s and lower 30s that's pretty average for this time of the year. Our average lows are in the lower to mid 30s, so uh, we'll be pretty close to average. Tomorrow's highs, though, above average. 60s, mid 60s, and even some upper 60s, maybe even nearing 70 in the southwest. This should be a, a wonderful Sunday. Again, a little breezy, but not too bad. And then a milder night again for Sunday night and a Monday morning. 40s for overnight lows. Some 30s out west. It will be a little cooler out there. And then your Monday, we're looking at temperatures soaring up into the 70s, so another 10-degree jump on Monday again. Some wind out there on Monday, maybe nearing 80 down south in Kansas. But look out west, and there's some cooler air there. That cooler air is going to come in as we head into your uh, Monday night and into Tuesday. So let's look at that long-range forecast here. And again, you can see uh, even Tuesday morning, temperatures down into the 30s and a high of 48 on Tuesday. Now, the worst of the weather will come early Tuesday or probably even before sunrise. Again, that light rain that could mix with snow, it's not going to, no snow accumulation, nothing like that. That moisture is going to be very, very limited for uh, the overnight hours. We're not going to see much with that front coming through. It's more about the wind and the big drop in temperatures more than anything. But uh, Tuesday, partly cloudy, maybe becoming mostly sunny, but I'm going to go with partly cloudy skies. Highs in the upper 40s. Colder nights ahead. Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Some colder nights down into the 20s. A high of 51 on Wednesday is a little bit below average for the final day of March. So I wouldn't say it's March is going out like a lion. It came in like a lamb. If you remember March 1st, the weather was very nice. In fact, I think it was nicer than what we'll see on March 31st here on Wednesday. That said, 51 and breezy is not terrible by any means. That's only a couple of degrees cooler than it was today on your Saturday. But then uh, starting to warm up. April 1st, 62 degrees. Friday, good Friday, 73, Saturday, 73, and we could be warmer on Easter Sunday on the, uh, at the end of this forecast here. Mid-70s are forecast for Easter Sunday. In fact, we're going to continue to see that warm air right into early next week here. We could see a prolonged period of warm air return for the first week of April. So we've got a lot to look forward to. There's barely any precipitation in the forecast. The only big hiccup is that drop in temperatures for Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, almost each and every day, at least some wind out there. The strongest winds will be with that front Monday night. So a lot to look forward to. There's more good than bad, that's for sure, in that seven-day forecast. So uh, looking forward to it. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And I will talk to you all again early on Monday morning. Tim will be filling in for Kit for Saturday, Sunday uh, at 5 o'clock and at 10 o'clock on those shows. But again, I will see you again bright and early Monday morning at 5 a.m.